is a Sony A6400. The right camera for you? Let's unbox it and find out. Hi everybody, I'm Brian the Camera Guy and I'm here to talk to you about the A6400. Today, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you what comes in the box with the standard 16 to 50 kit lens. All right, so, all right, so while we're opening this up, um, I did a lot of research on this camera to look at it. Of course, got some paperwork right here. Take a look at that later. Let's open it up, see what we got inside here. Got our battery. This is the NPFW50. So I did buy some extra batteries with this, but this is the battery that comes with it. Okay, so we got a camera strap. So this goes around your neck, neck strap. Uh, it also comes with the eyepiece for the optical viewfinder. This comes with a micro USB cord, along with the adapter to plug it in the wall, right there. And now for the camera itself. So I decided to go with the camera that comes with the 16 to 50 kit lens. Now that's a 3.5 to a 5.6 aperture. So the Sony a6400, it's 24.2 megapixels. It's an APS-C crop sensor camera with a 1.5 crop. Now the reason why I decided to go with this, I was thinking about going with the a7 III, but um, after considering some pricing on it, I thought to myself, I could get the 6400, which has the same color science, does not have in-body stabilization, but I did go with this one because I was able to get an extra lens. I was able to get the 16 millimeter F 1.4 from Sigma, plus I have a 50 millimeter 1.8, which is a Sony full frame, which on this crop center will be about a 75. So that means that uh, it would be really good for portraits. Uh, the 16 will be wide enough where you know you can hold it out, get those nice vlogging shots. And with the tilt-up screen, you'll be able to catch some, some excellent vlogging out here. I'm gonna do a review on that 16 millimeter as well. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop in the battery and see if it has any juice. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so we got no juice, so go ahead and uh, charge this bad boy up and we'll be back. All right, so we're back here. I got a fully charged battery. Let's go ahead and give this a try again. Now, the reason why I chose the A6400 is because of uh, the color science. Um, and then most importantly, it's got this flip up screen that you can use to watch yourself and vlog with. All right, so we got some juice. But why don't we go ahead, uh, we'll throw this on the tripod, take a look at what the image looks like coming straight out of the A6400. All right, so we're back. All right, now this is the image quality you can expect to receive out of the A6400. Uh, I got it on my standard tripod. Uh, now, originally I was shooting with the Sony AX53. Um, great camcorder, but um, one of the things that I wanted to do is really up the game of my video quality and I think the a6400 will do that. I was going to go with the Sony a7 III but uh, after looking at many reviews a lot of people said this was a cheaper a7 III so it doesn't have the in-body stabilization but that's okay. Most of the work that I do is through tripod anyway. This is a standard picture profile through the a6400. So go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the image quality. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more, and uh, ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Once again, I'm Brian the Camera Guy, and this has been the unboxing of the Sony A6400. Thanks for watching. That's the dog, drinking. Not sure if you hear that. Really. Drinking.